Good morning, friends. It's Miss Jackson again coming to you for today's activity. And today's activity is going to be counting. And we're going to focus on counting objects, sorting colors, adding, subtracting. And you can use all kinds of materials at home around the household as well as you use in the classroom. So with today counting, you can use crayons from the household, kitchen utensils. We can use rocks from the outside. Maybe mom and dad take you for a nature walk. We can pick up some rocks and count some rocks. Um, so all types of things that you can find around the household or on the outdoors for counting. So I have some county bears today of many colors, and I'm going to focus on counting one through ten and grouping in groups of one through five. So I'm going to start off counting one through ten using our county bears. So I have one, two, three. bears. Let's try and count them again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So remember, we can get objects from the household to count one through ten. Remember, you can use crayons, you can use uh, kitchen utensils, buttons, or rocks, or anything that you can find around the household. So next, I'm going to go through a cutter pattern. We can talk about colors as well. So here I have a card with our colors, and we're going to try and match the colors with our bears. And I don't have purple, but you can make your own pattern at home using regular paper, and markers or crayons, and you can make circles or shapes of triangles, squares, to make a pattern for your little one, and follow the pattern that you, that mom creates for you. So I have one, two blues, and I have one, two greens, and I have one, two red. So there's the pattern. I don't have purple, you guys, so I just want to cover it up with just the colors we do have. So here we have two blue, two green, and two red. Now, let's count and see how many bears are there all together. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six. So here we have a pattern a blue, green, and red with six bears. Now, how many blue do you see? I see two. One, two. Let's take the two bears away and count how many green bears we see. One, two. And we're gonna take those away and we're left with what color? Red. And let's count the leftover red bears. One, two. So there you have, friends. That was an activity of pattern with colors and counting all together. Remember, we can also use these things at home using paper and crayons to create our own pattern. Now we're going to focus on grouping. Grouping numbers of one through five. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now moms and dads, we can use paper to create uh, flashcards, 
um, using pen and paper, marker and paper, and go with those if you don't have flashcards, number flashcards. So, let's start with the number one. One. Now we have to find one bear. And we're going to go with the green bear because it matches the number. So, there you have one bear. Moving to two. Let's find two bears. One, two. There you have two bears. Moving to three. Let's count. One, two, three. We have three bears. Moving to four. Now we're going to use a different color because we don't have purple. So we'll go with the green again. So we have four. One, two, three, four. And last but not least, the number five. And we're going to get five yellow bears. Counting. One, two, three, four, and five. So here we are with our groups of numbers one through five. One, two, three, four, and five. So you see here, these are pieces to puzzles for counting, friends. And we can also use paper at home if you don't have number puzzles. And we can just draw shapes on a puzzle with numbers one through five or one through 10, however it's best to chew. And we can count and you can take the number to match. So here we have four, five pineapples. One, two, three, four, five. And here again, you can use your same objects to match. One, two, three, four, five. And again with number one. Let's find one with a picture. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, the one tiger. So here's your number one. One. Now we're going to move to two. Two baseballs. And again, you can use regular paper with color markers or crayons to draw shapes. And match and count. One, two, four. Let's move into four. One, two, three, four. And here's your four bears. One, two, three, four. Last but not least, number three. We have three bananas. And we want to match those. One, two, three bananas with our one, two, three bears. And that completes our activity for today, friends, with counting, grouping, colors, and patterns. See you later, friends. Bye-bye.